pom 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 mama rex gonna kill go Hey there everyone, Mazion reporting for duty, and today we are going to go out and find us a big bad dinosaur. Been going out kind of aimlessly trying to find uh, this or that. Today our gonna, we're going to have a goal. Our goal is to get a Spino or a T-Rex, because we need something that's land-based and big and bad that we can scare off little critters with, and big critters, and we can kill all the stuff and things that come along, we can... Go hunt Alpha Raptors and Alpha Carnos and Alpha T-Rexes. Now we're going to need a team of big dinosaurs at some point. Today we're going to go try to start that collection. And I'm standing here with Razorwing Face as usual because he's my trusty sidekick. And he's going to do all of the, the hard and heavy lifting and the stuff and things. So let's get on. Let's go out and find us a T-Rex. Well, we've happened upon a level 116 T-Rex. And we're going to need to find a way... Get it to a ledge where we can get it to not attack us and we can face. We're gonna look around here and scout ourselves one of those areas. Um I don't think that's gonna do. If I can get it over here to towards this side and toward the water, I might be able to get it uh to where I can do that. Or up on this ledge. If I can come and bring it around this area and then and up on top of there, it, I might be able to stupefy it. So we're going to give that a shot. I'm going to go over here. We're going to attack it. We're going to get it to chase us. And uh, we'll see if we can get it to get it to come over. What's up, Talon? Talon! Right. Chase us? No? Chasing? Want to eat us? Oh. Maybe we can hurt it if, if nothing else. What? What are you doing? Something more interesting over there. I want to kill it. I just want to whack it a little bit. Come on, man. Uh, attack that Anki. Let me see. If we get up on here, we're going to end up not in a good spot. So I'm going to try to lure it over to that ledge over there. We'll see if we can do that. And then uh, we'll be back with you guys. Come on. Come on, you know you want to eat me. Don't I look tasty? Got chicken wing legs? You can do it. Oh, you found something else to attack. Okay. We've got up on top of this ledge. I think it might be too far away for us to really get this guy to come after us. Let's try the ledge across the way. Right, so he's kind of on us. Look to eat us. Come on, you can do it. Come over here. You know you want to eat us. You know you want to eat us. Let me see. Where, where are you? There it is. Now we're going to get him. Um, I'm afraid that he'll pass out in that water and drown, actually. That's not going to work. We need to find a better place. Dilos being a pain. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a limb and hope that he won't drown if we've got him right here. And we're just gonna keep keep him here and see if we can get him to tame and not drown. Got a Bronto over there for some prime meat. Remember to wait the ten seconds in between. Duck. A lot of pew pewing in the butt again, just like on a Bronto tame. RG over there. Hopefully, it won't bother us. Doo doo. Epic musics. <laughs> pew pew in the butt. Level 116 should give us a pretty high level dino when we're done. You know what? We didn't bring a T Rex saddle with us. Have to stomp this guy all the way back. Shoot an arrow. Wait. Wait. An arrow. Wait. Ah. 
Oh no! Okay. Go back up here. <laughs> that was a little intense. Worried about losing that guy. Oh, your face is back. Shoot it in the face again. What level that guy was down there. Where is he? Are they fighting? Get him! Kill him, T-Rex! Kill him! Thank you! No, you stay you stay coming after us, T-Rex, man. Now you're in the water again. Got all kinds of things attacking Razor Wing Face. I kill this guy. Oh man. Get him back in the place with the stuff and things. Come over here, dude. And that saber might have done a number on him. Hope not. I don't think I want to shoot him in the head right now. Oh, you're pretty. Getting bloody. Let's switch over to the bow. Less damage to him. Don't want to kill this guy. We just want him to get knocked out. Man, we shot this bad boy with a lot of arrows. Oh, it just keeps going and going. We've used almost a hundred arrows already. Now I've switched to the bow because he's getting a little low, and I'm not sure whether or not that's the best plan. But I assume you now he's, he's getting blood up on his face. I want to hit him with the crossbow and do too much damage to him, but we want to keep get him getting the torpor from the trank arrows. Oh, he went down, folks! He went down! Hope that he's passed out and not dead. I think he's passed out and not dead. All right. Fucking land razor face on this rock. All right, you stay right there, razor wing face. We're gonna go look real quick, make sure he's not dead, then we're gonna go get ourselves some prime meat. He's unconscious, folks! Successfully unconsciousified T Rex. Level 116. There's a Bronto up on the ridge over here. We're gonna go get some prime from it. You always want to scout out where you can get your prime from. We've got a mammoth over there. We can get some prime off as well. And we've got a, what, a Bronto egg? Might be too much weight for us. Um, prime meat. Prime, and we're going to start doing the tame. Prime. Prime. Yeah, three. All right, so we're going to put our first set of prime on that bad boy. The Bronto egg. Didn't, didn't make us encumbered, so good. Go put the prime on him, and we're going to go back out find some prime. I've got a preserving bin set up already on Razor Wing Face, so we're going to try to get that going too. But I'll be right back with you folks. I was having a bit of a problem finding prime meat down where we were taming, which is right over there. So I just wanted to mention that any time that you are having a problem, look to the mountains. You'll always find mammoths hanging out near a mountain somewhere. You just come down, right down. This guy must be high level. And uh, take care of them, get their prime meat. So yeah, that's a good idea. I mean, up down the river, usually there's some Brontos and maybe another Rex or something. But eat prime, go check out the mountains. But uh, you know the spoil timer is pretty low. Make sure you hightail it back and make sure that you uh, get that back on your on your team. I'm gonna go put these on the preserving bin. I think I'm gonna check his. Uh, Check the other prime meat on him and see how that's doing, and uh, then we'll see how we're going to proceed from there. Now we've come back on our Rex, and then we see that there's a Bronto right here and another one right there. We're going to try to get prime meat off them, but we're going to really hope that they didn't or won't smack the crap out of the Rex while we're taking care of them. We don't want them to step on them either. So hopefully we end up uh, on the side of luck with this and we don't have a problem. goes and he's gonna be down right in the butt Alan Alan all right prime off of him prime go up and uh, take care of this guy up here get some more prime maybe
Remember, right here seems to be the easiest place to attack these guys. Start running. They're done. Got, oh, nice. Bunch of prime off this guy. Okay. So we're going to go check on our uh, progress on the T-Rex, hopefully that he, hoping that he didn't get whacked. And uh, get some of its prime off of Razor Wing Face. Wow. Got a lot of prime now. And uh, get some of it into the fridge and some of it onto the Rex. Wow. I'm not going to even be able to put that much in the fridge, so... 30. Get all this in there. These last three onto the Rex. And... Technivus has gone down to 66.4, so we definitely had that Bronto stomp or hit this guy. It might have been a better plan to not attack the Bronto and hope that it was going to go away, but I mean, that's the way it goes out here. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. In this case, we're uh, a little bit sad that we're going to have a less less high level Rex when we're done, but it'll still be pretty high. Be up in the 150 range, so I mean, that's all you can really ask for right now. We're still uh, got a lot of low-level dinos, and we're still trying to make our way in this world. Still learning, still doing things, but we got a lot of prime on him now, um, and we got some prime up there. So he just ate. He's got three minutes before another feeding, and we gotta go see what we have up in bin. So uh, one thing I don't know. We've, so we've got nine minutes on this piece. Nine minutes and thirty seconds. We put him on him on us. We got fifty-five seconds. Now I have a, an idea, um, adding eight minutes to that particular one, one, I'm, I'm not sure what the multiplier is on it, but so, but it gives us a rough idea of what we have to work with. We've got 12 minutes on some of these, 14 minutes on others, and we've got stuff on Razor Face, Bill, who's collected tons and tons of meat. Um, have a high level timer. What we're going to do here is we're going to take some of these... With the lower timers. Take this and guy. Guy. We'll go down and put them right on the Rex. Don't know if it'll if they'll have any sort of good timer once they get put on there, but it'll be better than having it in our inventory and it gives us some more room to put that other stuff that's on Razor Ring Face on it. One should be in front here. We've got three minutes till the next feeding or so. Um, well, till we have to make sure we have another one on him. He's gonna eat in a second. Razor wing face, what are you doing? Can't get on him. And we're gonna. Oh, we're swimming it. We're we're flying in the water. We're not supposed to be able to do that. All right. So we'll get uh, this last couple pieces of prime on in the preserving bin, and we'll go find some more to make sure that we're all good. Now I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts that I had with you guys. Um, where, where we're in the setup where the Rex is down below and the bin's up top, and they're not really right next to each other, it's probably not as uh, effective of, of a taming method to make sure that you use the bin. Um, I do have some meat in the bin, and I am happy that if I run out for some reason, I can just grab it real quick and throw it on him for a feeding, try to time it, and make sure that it's all right, and he still gets his prime. But the other thing is that when you know that there are bodies out here to get prime off, and I know there's a Bronto on the other side of that, that uh, ridge, and there was a Bronto just here, it's also just as effective to... When you, when you get down to like three minutes or so, and you know that the, there's one right here, to go up and take care of that guy, bring it back, and you'll have another three minutes between feedings. And just do that as much as you can. That's also an effective method. To do. That's what we're going to do right now. Um, like I said, I have some on the in the preserving bin, but I'm going to go ahead and get some more prime off this guy, and we're going to put it right on the Rex. The Rex should be tame soon. All right, one thing also... That I wanted to mention to you guys that I forgot to is that uh, I should have come down and checked the T-Rex to see if he had taken any taming effectiveness loss first and maybe not tried to attack knowing that that tail swipe could have caused a problem. Um, now we know that 
going to eat one more time pretty soon. But uh, I think it should be within the next five minutes. So we're not going to need to go out and get any more prime. But yeah, again, should go down. Check out what's going on. See if he's been hit. If he's not been hit, just hope that it's not going to come over and hit him and go from there. So we didn't really get what I wanted out of this guy. We wanted a, a much higher level team, but we're still going to get about 152. And it should be coming right up, I don't know, in about 20 seconds or so. Um, but that's the way it goes out here. You know, I'm learning. I've been playing the game for about two weeks and trying to get down the stuff and things. We'll look for more perfect teams coming up in the future, but right now we'll be satisfied that we have a 150 level Rex. That'll be much higher than our Philbert back at the base who's got like 36 or something like that. And it'll be very helpful uh, moving forward trying to take out alphas and do other things and stuff in the game. And there we go. We've tamed a Rex. High level Rex. And we're gonna name this guy. What, we, what should we name him? Uh, I mean, he's big and bad and mean. We can name him Big Bad Mean Name. Or we could go with the... Uh, the ironic name, and I think that I might do that. I think that we're gonna name him Randall. Randall's gonna be a, a pal to Philbert. Philbert and Randall back at the base. What's up? How's it going, Randall? You look mean. You look mean, sir. We don't have a saddle for this guy. We're gonna have to lead him all the way back to the base right now. If anything really interesting happens on the way. Oh no! Oh, razor wing face. Why did you why did you back off? I can't fly on you down there. Razor wing faces have been doing all kinds of weird stuff around this water today. Oh there's... Randall's confused. He's Razor Wing Face, what are you doing? I'm just being a bird up here. Alright. So we're gonna go and lead this guy eventually, after we get around his face, back to the base and we'll see you in right. a second. But well, we've got our level one fifty two T Rex back to the base. Finally. To go all the way from down by the river up to this area. We're gonna get Philbert's saddle. We're gonna put Philbert's saddle on Randall. We're gonna go out and see what kind of trouble we can get into real quick. Have that, have a go at that. Philbert's like, no, don't take my saddle. And, oh, well, sorry. Randall needs it. Anyway. So we're gonna get that, up, that going and be right back. All right, we're on the back of Randall. Let's check out his stats. Got uh, 5,400 health, 112 stamina. I'm sorry. 730 weight, which is good, and 338% melee damage. Now I haven't tamed a ton of uh, Rexes, but we're gonna go give this guy a try. Boom, 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 boom. I'm a Rex, gonna kick. Go. Brontosaurus over there. Now these guys don't do that well in the water, so we're gonna. We're gonna go around. Oh, we'll just go right through this area. Looks like we got a shallow part. Oh, and it stopped to poop. Sports. Messing up my shows with the poops, you guys. There's a spino. That's D Max spino. We want to get ourselves one of those sometime soon. See, maybe the next video? I don't know. Eat ya! Gonna eat this Bronto! Arr. Not taking any damage. Oh, and we gained another level. Let's put it in melee damage. Right, so we get ourselves a big Bronto. Got us some prime meat off of that guy. Nice. He gets around pretty good, and he looks just as astute as Filbert does. Whoa. Stop shaking your head. No, you definitely look astute. Doesn't like that. Maybe if I press K, then we can look him in the face. Say hello to Randall, everybody. Hi, Randall. That's what I heard you guys say anyway. All right. Now we're going to go and uh, bring this boy, bad boy back. We eat a dodo bird. No. Anyway. Yeah, yummy dodos. See you back at the base, folks. Well, we went out today and we got ourselves a nice level 152 T-Rex. Uh, look, looking towards the future, we're going to be looking for uh, trying to do the perfect tames. Now, there's a couple of things that I wanted to clear up. I talked to Armadid. Um Apparently, uh, someone had one, on one of my last videos had said that 
when something walks over your tame, it can lower the taming frequency. Well, apparent, apparent, apparently, apparently, that's not true. Um, it's only if the monster is aggroed, has some sort of of uh, a target that it's trying to attack. If it's angered, that it's going to do that. When oh, nice poop, uh, that it's going to do that. Um, so we actually messed up by attacking that that Bronto for sure. We could have just let that Bronto go and we would have been fine. Taming effectiveness would have been up. Wouldn't have had to worry about that. So that's something that I just wanted to cover. Also, people have mentioned in my videos the starvation method is something that um, is supposed to be more effective. But I want to cover that that is also not effective in comparison. Um, it doesn't change anything. You can do it one way or the other. You can try to starve your pet and then feed it all at once. Or you can just have a food there for every 50 that it goes down. But it doesn't change anything to uh, tame the animal faster. Now the one thing that does happen that you want to know, um, and that I'm going to try in the future, is you don't have to feed the animal as it's laying there. And after its first feed, that's when you can worry about whether or not its taming effectiveness going to go down so what you can do is you can let the food level of your animal drop go out and gather a bunch of prime meat all at once and then put it on your animal and it will eat all of that prime meat at once and then you don't have to worry about checking the timers going back and forth from uh getting prime to coming back make sure the timers are okay so that is one advantage of using the starvation method but it will not tame your dino faster um it's the same amount of of Feed, whether or not you wait for the the health to go down, then give it food, or you give it food at uh, sorry, not wait for its food to go down and then give it food, or if you just let it get food as it goes down by 50, because it's going to eat every 50, no matter what you do. So I just want to clear up those couple things, folks. Thanks for coming up and checking me out. If you have anything to say, do that in the comments below. Please like and subscribe, and as always, be excellent to each other.